Welcome to the rocket profile of the Juno 2, which launched the first American probe to leave Earth's sphere of influence. The first stage of the Juno 2 was a Jupiter missile, not to be confused with the Jupiter C, which is a redstone variant meant as a research rocket. The Juno 2 did not use an engine derived from the A4, but rather a Rocketdyne S3D, which was a kerosene and oxygen burning engine which would serve as the predecessor for the H1 engine used in the Thor and Delta rockets. The S3D provided 667 kilonewtons of vacuum thrust for 3 minutes and 2 seconds, with a surface specific impulse of 248 seconds. After the first stage though, the Juno 2 looks like the Juno 1, which was based on a Jupiter C, as far as stages. It's just the same series of 11 sergeant solid rockets, then 3 sergeants, then a single sergeant. Each sergeant has 6.7 kilonewtons of thrust and burn for 6 seconds. Their vacuum specific impulse was between 220 and 235 seconds. An instrumentation unit that stays with those boosters after the first stage decouples spin stabilizes them ahead of apoapsis. The Juno 2 was launched 10 times with only 4 successes. The first launch was Pioneer 3, which aimed for a lunar flyby and ultimate heliocentric orbit. It suffered a premature first stage shutdown because of a circuit issue. Pioneer 4, launched after that, was successful. It entered lunar SOI and then proceeded on to interplanetary space. The probe you will see in this video is of the same type as Pioneer 3 and 4. Subsequent failures of Juno 2 included a diode short cutting power to the guidance system, the guidance compartment getting depressurized after the first stage did its part, and failures of the sergeants to ignite. The successes were Explorer 7, Explorer 8, and Explorer 11, all carrying various scientific instruments. Explorer 11 had the first gamma ray telescope in space. The payload to orbit for Juno 2 was a mere 41 kilograms out of a launch mass of 55 tons. Its escape velocity mass was 6 kilograms. More than its capabilities or reliability though, Juno 2's importance was as part of the origin of the Thor and Delta line of rockets. The S3D would become the LR-79, which would be used until the introduction of the H1, and then the RS-27 still used today in the Delta II. And with that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Juno 2.